All right, so to answer this question, we first copy. So we have x power 2, x power 6 is equal to a 3 there. So what do we do next? We have to balance what is this side, okay? Uh, or in other ways, we have to make x, this x, have the same power as this x. So we have power 2 here. So now how do we make it have the same power as this? Of course, we just say x there power power 2 and x here power 6 and then everything power a 3 which is equal to 3 power 3. So we do, uh, we do the same thing, this side and the other side. Okay. So when we do that, we are now at Libert to use the law of indices. Where if you have p power m, okay, multiplied by our power n there. So this will just be p power m n. So this power and this will be multiplied. So this applies to what we have. So we have this power, all of it, okay, up to here. So this power, which is 2x, uh, 2x power 6, will be multiplied by 3. And we are going to get... Uh, we shall get uh, x power 6 and power 6 there. Because this 2 and, and, and 3 will be multiplied. Okay? Which will be equal to 3 power 3. Okay? So now from this point, we come this side here. We shall, have, uh, we shall say x power 6 is equal to a 3. So x... Power 6 is equal to 3, and here x power 6 is equal to 3. So we just say x power 6 is equal to 3. To solve for x, we, 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 we put or we apply the inverse of this, which is 1 over 6, both sides. So power 1 over 6, such that 6 and 6 here will cancel. We shall remain with x is equal to 3 power 1 over 6 as the solution. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. This is Sitramba Jacob. Bye-bye.